As a former teacher, I know how painful grading papers can be. Today, I have a stack of 21 essays sitting next to me, which I'm going to grade in the next 10 minutes using AI. Instead of manually grading each paper, which would take me at least two hours, here's what I'm going to do. Let's start the timer. The first step is to photograph the students' papers because I need them in digital format. Okay, now the grading part. There are several AI graders out there and I've already shown you a few on my social media, but this one is hands down the best option. Meet AsaGrader.ai. The platform's interface is pretty straightforward. The menu is on the left, while all the main action is happening on this side. AsaGrader connects with Google Classroom, Canvas and Schoology to automate the grading process, but we'll do it manually this time. First, we need to select an existing class or enter the class's name to create a new one and then give a name to the assignment. The students we want to grade are foreign language learners and they had to write an assignment about their best friend. We'll name the assignment something that reflects this. If the class doesn't exist, Essay Grader will automatically create it here in this area and nest the assignment beneath it. Alright, time to pick our rubric. A rubric is necessary to help the AI understand the evaluation criteria we wanted to use and to ensure that students are evaluated accurately and fairly. There are hundreds of pre-made rubrics in the library aligned with the various US standards. But unless you are teaching in the States, these aren't really helpful. So, in this case, we need to create a new rubric. There are four ways to do that. We can upload one from our device, build one from an existing rubric already imported into SA Grader, prompt SA Grader's AI to generate one, or craft one from scratch manually within SA Grader. We'll import our own rubric. Unfortunately, I have no rubric available for this assignment, so we'll ask the AI to generate one. But instead of using SX Grader AI Generator, we'll use ChatGPT. I'm doing so because ChatGPT allows for a greater degree of customization, provided, of course, you have the necessary prompting skills. So, what should we ask for? Here is the prompt template I recommend using for building rubrics. All you need to do is replace whatever is in brackets with your own details. You can find the template in the pinned comment below. And while you are there, give it a try and drop a comment on how it went. We'll ask ChatGPT to craft a rubric for a descriptive essay suitable for A1 level EFL learners, which is also aligned with the common European framework of reference for languages. The rubric is being generated as you see, and it consists of criteria, each rated on a scale of one to four. These criteria are what you want the AI to look for in the essay to determine how successful the assignment is. The rubric looks good, but we need it in PDF format so we can upload it into Essay Grader. Nice! Back to Essay Grader to upload the generated rubric. Ok, we'll hit continue. Now we need to define a few details. Do note that these details might change the rubric's structure. First, there is the student's level. I'll go for elementary, since my students are 9 year olds. As for the grading intensity, this controls how strict or lenient grading should be. Ok, the rubric is within as a grader. I'll hit save changes and then pick it from the list of my rubrics. Now we'll upload all students' papers into SA Grader. It's always better to import them in text format over images, but it is what it is. Adding the source material and instructions is optional, but it definitely helps to ensure a fair and transparent evaluation that corresponds to the particular assignment. Good. Next, we need to review our previous choices and also set the feedback details level. I suggest going for either medium or short feedback 
because people get overwhelmed by too much information. Everything is ready. Let the grading process begin. And voila, the grading process is over. You can see each student's grade here in this column. And how much time did this take us? In less than five minutes, Essay Grader graded 21 papers, which would have taken hours to finish. Now comes the feedback. But let's pause for a minute to explain this. Since we didn't select an existing class while building the assignment, a new class was created with the assignment beneath it. So, how does the feedback work? First, we must click on one of the student's essays. I'll begin with the first one. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see it clearly. On the left panel, there's the student's paper. Notice that some sentences are underlined with a specific color. This is because these sentences determine the student's score in their respective categories defined in the rubric. So, if we click on this sentence labeled with yellow, we are taken directly to the right panel where we can see that the yellow labeled sentences are about grammar and sentence structure. First, there is an explanation of the points received for this specific criterion. And next, come suggestions on how the student can improve in this particular category. For instance, this student missed an S after the verbs love and help. So the AI doesn't only explain what went wrong, but also offers suggestions on what the student needs to work on. The feedback essay grader gives is as personalized as it gets. Of course, if we disagree, we can tweak the score for each criterion, adjust the feedback and suggestions, and even add comments if we want to. In case you want a less cluttered version of the feedback, click this button. The review is split into five categories, one for each of the rubric's criteria, each having a unique color to help you understand what went wrong. Next, there is the AI detection button, which is pretty useful, especially when students send you their work in electronic format. Essay Grader provides you with a probability percentage if the paper is written with AI's help. Finally, there is the comments button, where you see all the comments you have added. When you are done, you can export this feedback into various formats and share it with the student. Everything is set, but before moving on to another essay, we need to mark this one as reviewed. Let's continue the timer and speed this up to see how long it will take us to wrap up all 21 papers. And we are done. We didn't only grade 21 essays in such a short time, but we also got personalized feedback tailored for each student. Essay Grader comes packed with another cool feature. The metrics feature delivers assignment-wide statistics that let you spot patterns across papers. It works like this. You choose the assignment and then you get the average score as well as other statistics related to how the students performed. On the other side, you see the score distribution and most importantly, recommendations on how to strengthen your teaching of the subject related to this assignment. The AI also breaks down what went poorly, telling us where to focus to help our students improve, as well as what went well, so we spend less time on it. Apparently, we can also view class-wide or student-specific metrics, but at the time of shooting the video, these options were under construction. Speaking of classes and students, note that Essay Grader doesn't collect data. In fact, it's FERPA and COPA compliant, ensuring your student data is safe. Essay Grader also brings two more features. The Summarizer, which lets you condense any paper, and most importantly, the AI Detector, which evaluates the paper in terms of AI usage. This is extremely useful, especially if you receive a lot of papers in digital format uh, like uh, via an LMS or emails. Despite being an excellent and accurate tool for teachers who grade a lot of paper, I couldn't help but notice a few flaws that need improvement. The existing rubrics in Essay Grader are aimed at the US curricula. Therefore, I'd love to see more frameworks and countries supported in the future. Currently, the feedback language is limited to English, French and Spanish. Support for more languages 
would be a great addition. Finally, I noticed that uh, the text from imported documents isn't always clearly transcribed, especially when the handwriting isn't the best. Therefore, working with handwritten papers can be problematic. Consequently, it works best with digital papers. Price-wise, Essay Grader is freemium. The free version lets you grade a limited number of essays per month and use basic level rubrics. Therefore, if you want to grade more papers as well as use advantage rubrics, resulting in higher grading accuracy, you need to go for a paid plan. SA Grader is an AI grading companion that does a great job of following structured rubrics and weighted criteria to assess essays based on your expectations. Can you use ChatGPT or Gemini to evaluate your students' papers? Of course you can. But keep in mind that they require lots of prompting, forcing you to spend much time refining your input to get proper, accurate and fair results. Not to mention that you have to repeat these processes for every single paper. SE Grader eliminates that, making it an accurate and easy to use AI tool that will save you a massive amount of time. If you want to discover more AI tools for teachers that will help you boost your productivity and take your teaching to the next level, click the video shown on your screen. Till the next time, see you!